hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you some of my favorite products that i use on a day to day for my beauty regime if you will um i have got other videos planned um and i'm sorry again but as i've explained before why sometimes there's a long gap between my videos and i'm very excited that i see that i had another subscriber so thank you i really appreciate it and i love you all but um, basically I'm just going to show you my what I use day to day and what I'm tell you quickly why I love it and why I recommend it. Now based first off you all know as I've said before I have sensitive skin and I but I've used these and tested these products and I've been using them for like six months, some of them up to a year, and you'll see that from hauls that I'd bought them. And said that I'd like review them, but I'm going to show you these are my day-to-day -day products and I give them a gold star. And first off, I'm going to go in with my skincare regime and I use the Soap and Glory Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Face Wash. I love this, I love the colour and I love the little micro beads because they really get into the pores and scrub you out and that give you a really nice glowy skin after using and you feel so refreshed but it doesn't break you out and I use this day and night and this is a new bottle but a bottle of this will last ages, that's really good and I use this day and night So, and then next after patting my skin dry I will go in and use this a new ultimate um jewel alexa from avon serum it's got an oil and a serum jewel and i squeeze when you squeeze it on your hand i use three pumps and uh, i kind of rub it my hands together and then i pat it all over my face and neck and i love this stuff and it there's no really smell to it i don't find but it doesn't, um, it's not too oily or greasy or anything like that. It goes on really well and you do get a, like a kind of glowy skin. Then what I tend to do is I use two eye products because um, I'm getting to that age. I'm 30, um, nearly 35 now so I try to be really good with my skincare and I use the Anu Lifting Jill Eye Serum and basically when you open it there's a like a white cream and then there's like an orange gel. I use the white cream under my eyes where I get the bags so that I keep the skin tight and I go up to where you get like the side of the, your eyes where you get what they call coils feet and I use that and then the gel I use on the top of the, my lid underneath my eyebrow and a little bit down and I love this stuff. I know some people rate it or not but I love it. Um, I hope to stop the signs of ageing before they kind of happen um so i and skincare is important and my grandma always had a good skin regime and she always looked quite young for her age and i'm hoping to follow suit um then i use this and oh my god this i know people have got mixed reviews on this but for my personal use i can say this has been a lifesaver for me as you know i've said before i suffer with dry skin but i'm very very pale because i'm always really anemic and also I have really, really, really bad under eyes circles because I don't sleep very well at all. And this has been a godsend to me. And so much so that my husband said to me recently, you haven't got any dark circles under your eyes. And I thank this. And basically it's two things, again, like the previous, a white side and a green. The white side I put on quite a, a lot in the morning. Well, not actually too much because this lasts a long time. I go dab, dab, dab in three places under the eye and then I gently pat it on because you have to be very careful because the skin. And then in the evening, I put on in the same place the gel. And oh my God, it's amazing. And literally, it's thanks to this and that, that my skin looks good. and But the circles have somewhat, well, disappeared at the moment. And I hope for it to stay that way. Next in my skincare in the mornings after doing that process i use this moisturizer and it's the avon ageless protecting day cream and it's got green tea extract in it there's no real smell to it really and it smells but it's got like little particles which i like in my products like my face wash and i put this on and it's got spf 30 which is really important and i put it all over my face and on my neck it's not too thick, not too thin, it's really perfect and it gives you glowy, dewy kind of looking skin and it really does work. I feel hydrated and my 
face feels like soft as a baby's bum when I've used it and I use it every morning without fail and I now I can't live without it so I hope they never stop it. I even replaced my old faithful which was the simple light moisturiser. Then in the evenings I go in with its counterpart which is the Ageless Restore and Overnight Gel. Again with green tea in it, love this. It's got like the little particles in as I was explaining. I love this gel. I weren't sure if I'd like a gel because I, like I said, I used to use a normal straight up moisturiser before from Simple. But I love this. And if in summertime or if your face is really feeling puffy or you like the effect, I suggest you put it in the fridge and oh my God, it's amazing. But I love this skin care line. It's amazing. If I feel extra dry though, day or night, I will put on this, which is the new Hydra Pro Vitamin D Water Cream. So if I'm dry in the mornings or I feel like I need a little bit extra, I will put this on with my normal day cream. Or at night, if I'm feeling like my skin needs it, I'll put that on with my night overnight gel and it works wonders. Then three times a week, I've now started doing recently um, a face mask. I do sheet masks here and there. Sometimes they're fun. But I do l really love this and rate this now. And it's the new Clinical Defend and Repair Advanced Hydration Overnight Mask. Again, it's got like little particles in it. And apparently it's got three times the hydrolonic. Oh, I can't pronounce it. But basically it's a gel like my night cream and it's amazing i love it i love the little particles in it and the, but a little goes a long way with all these products as well sorry guys if i stopped there i just heard a really big bang and i don't know what that was i think it was the neighbor but um yeah um i love it i love the product again you can put it in the fridge and it does wonders for your skin the next morning when i wake up you look again i've never had such soft skin it's amazing then at day, night and all day in between, if I'm not wearing a lipstick, I will wear the a new lip serum. Uh, it's hydrating, it keeps my lips smooth, stops them going wrinkly apparently according to the description. But I just love it and I use it like a lip balm as well. But if I do wear lipstick, I will put this on first and then wear a lipstick over the top and I find it moisturising. Next in my routine... Uh, in between washes, a shampoo and conditioner, I use this, the Soap and Glory uh, dry shampoo, because I don't wash my hair every single day, because I find that too much. So in between washes, I will use this, and the scent is amazing, and it really does work. If you've never tried dry shampoo, I suggest you do, or even if you just put it on the roots, if you get a bit greasy in between washes, uh, then and that's great with thick hair. And then I use this. I have got another brush, but when I after I've uh, washed my hair and that, I just want to mention it. I got it in my last Avon haul. Oh, this detangler brush is amazing. If you've got thick, and I mean thick, long hair, and when you've washed your hair, you get it really like it gets really tangled up, can that like mine do? Oh my god, this is game changer. This goes through your hair like butter. I can't recommend this enough. I need to buy another two in case they stop selling them. This is from Avon and I think it was like £4. But I didn't think this was going to work because of the feel of the bristles. They're quite soft plastic. But this really, really goes through your hair like butter and that's made such a difference. So I thought I'd mention that. Next then on my skincare after I've washed or showered or whatever, every day without fail, from head to toe, I lotion with Soap and Glory's Call of Fruity. Again, had no problem. It doesn't irritate my skin. It hydrates it. It smells beautiful. And I love the smell of this one. And it goes on. And I love the fact that's in a pump. It's got uh, easy to apply then. And apparently it's got vitamin E in it. But I just love the smell of it. It goes on and I moisturise myself from the neck down and uh, love it. I can't get it and I love the fact that's in the pump. Then talking of it, when I come out, uh, if I shave my legs and things like that and um, or uh, whatever, you know, shave, I put on the Soap and Glory Righteous Butter and I love the smell of this. It's the original pink. It's a really thick cream and I put that on and that 
literally does make your um, skin feel like butter. And I tend to use that post shave, shave. I'll put it on if I've shaved my legs. You know, ladies, shave under your arms or wherever you shave. I will slather that on and that really seeps the moisture into the skin. And I also good if you get dry elbows. Both of these really good products. Last but not least, I love, you know I love hand creams. I use, I pop the Avon ones in my bag all the time. But in the mornings and the evenings, I will use, or if I've done like uh, painted my nails and done all my nails or anything like that, I use the Soap and Glory Call of Fruity. This is quite a new product that I've added in, but I love it. I also do keep the Avon in my handbag, but this one is in, in the bathroom and I use it. Or if I wash my hands upstairs, then this is the hand quick I use. I love the smell of it. Um, I am going to try the crushed sugar one as well, but I really do love the smell of this. But this product is amazing. I also, like I said, do use sheet masks occasionally, but I use my last one. But I usually use the Avon ones, the simple ones, or I will use the Soap and Glory. Basically, guys, these are my all my day two go-tos, what I use every day. And when it comes to perfumes and things like that, it depends for me on... A, the time of year, what mood I'm in, and also sometimes randomly, and there's a bit funny, I wonder if any other women do that or girls do it, depending on what colour I'm wearing, I will match, uh, like, pick up, so if I was wearing purple, I'd look to see, oh, purple, like, her, her, Katy Perry's cat one, and I'll think, oh, I'll match purple with purple, and I'll do something silly like that, but that's just me for a bit of fun, but I don't, when it comes to perfume, I tend to mix it up, quite a bit as I do because I with my lip colour if I do wear a lipstick or something I will depending I wear very I've got various shades which I will wear depending but these products are my go-to's and when it comes to shampoo I usually use Tresemme um salon silk for my hair or I will use um the colour goddess because I dye my hair because I'm naturally blonde but I dye it like a brunette colour and um I will use the bedhead um colour goddess twin duo and then I will use any like hair mask from Avon or whatever. But that's basically it. Oh and the hair oil and spray. But I usually let my hair dry naturally, but if I do dry it then I will put a heat spray on and a bit of shine serum or whatever but that's basically it guys that's what i use and i thought it'd be just fun to go through it and i'll see you in the next video and i'll look forward to it and that's disney theme so i'm really excited thanks for watching bye